What's the difference between soldering and welding? Soldering versus welding What's the difference? These two words are sometimes used interchangeably, and although they accomplish the same general goal, they do so differently. Soldering and welding are both techniques used to bond metals together, but they accomplish this in different ways. Soldering Soldering is a technique used to bond metals together by heating solder, which is a metal alloy with a low melting point and applying it to the pieces that are being bonded together, which are known as the base metals. The pieces being bonded together do not get hot enough to melt, but the solder does, which creates the connection. Soldering is done at temperatures below 840 degrees Fahrenheit. The exact temperature used will vary depending on what you are doing and the metals that you are bonding but will typically be somewhere between 600 and 700 degrees. It is commonly used for electronic components, but can also be used in other applications, including everything from plumbing to jewelry making. Equipment. For soldering, you need a soldering iron and solder. There are four main types of soldering irons. Soldering pencils and soldering guns are small and easy to use and are the best for at-home projects. Soldering guns are a little bit more expensive than pencils and need less time to warm up. A soldering station is a soldering pencil or gun that is attached to a power station that allows you to control the exact temperature of the soldering iron tip. And a repair station is a more complex system that includes additional features and is often used in a commercial facility. Welding. Welding is a way of joining metals at much higher temperatures than soldering. The exact temperatures vary based on the type of welding and the materials being welded, but are typically above 5000 degrees Fahrenheit, and in some cases, much hotter than that. And unlike soldering, it melts the base metals and changes their physical properties, therefore creating a stronger bond. Welding is more complicated than soldering and demands more technical knowledge, as it requires the use of electricity or gases and flames that need to be regulated. Many welding jobs require certification as well as numerous safety precautions. Types of welding. There are many kinds of welding, but they can generally be grouped into two main categories. There's arc welding, which uses an electric power supply to create an arc between an electrode and the base metal. And there's torch welding, which uses an oxyacetylene torch. Arc welding can be further classified into three main types. Stick welding, which is also known as shielded metal arc welding, is one of the easier methods to learn. MIG welding, or metal inert gas welding, is another method that can be learned easily. TIG welding, or tungsten inert gas welding, is more complex and requires a more elaborate setup. In order to help you to learn more about welding, we've put together awesome information for you that we want to share with you. Are you going to WeldingTroop.com and there you can see all articles about welding.